Welcome back to Get Connected and I am so excited to be back guys and we're going to have so much fun as we always do but before I tell you what we are going to be focusing on today let's go back to the first week when we were learning about trust and then we were learning about how God provides and last week what were we talking about again? Prayer. That's what we were talking about. But this week we're going to be talking about standing strong. Yes, we're going to be focusing on standing strong. So make sure you guys get connected and enjoy this service. Welcome to Hotspot, where we come together to talk to God. And before we start praying, I'd just like to share with you a great picture sent in by Malik and Micah of their prayer jar at home. And it's full of prayers, which is great. Thank you so much, Malik and Micah, for sharing your photo with us. Now, remember everybody, we'd love to see your prayer jar or prayer box that you've got at home. So do send them in to kingdomkids at hgbchurch.org. UK. Don't forget to send them in. Now we're going to see what prayer requests we've been sent in this week. Now we've had a prayer sent in and someone is praying for protection. So we're going to come together and pray now. I want all of you to join in because God wants to hear from everybody as we pray for protection for this person. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we pray almighty God for your protection right now for your child, dear Lord. You know who they are. We're not sure of their name, but you know them, dear Lord. And we pray for them to have protection and for all of us right now at this time. Protect us all, almighty God. Protect our going in, going out and our coming in. Cover us in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I hope you all prayed with me there. And I'm going to pray for a prayer out of my prayer box. Because I've set, brought mine in with me today. So remember, it doesn't have to be a jar. You can use a box. And this one says, pray for our church. So let's pray for our church right now. Heavenly Father, we lift up our church to you, dear Lord, Hither Green Baptist Church. And we pray, almighty God, that you protect us, dear Lord. Guide us, Heavenly Father. Show us, almighty God, what we are meant to do. Help us, dear Lord, at this time to stand strong in you when we're faced with lots of different things. We thank you, Almighty God, that we can come together as a church still and worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you for praying with me. And remember, we want to pray together and we want to pray for all of you out there that any request, it doesn't matter what it is, if you want prayer, please do send it in to our email address or our phone number. We we'll want to pray for you. Now we're going to pray for our service now before we start. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, dear Lord, that we can come together to worship and learn more about you. We thank you for this service, dear Lord. And we pray, Heavenly Father, that we will learn something new today to help us in our walk with you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great service. Hello and welcome to Connection Point and we are back for some more fun worship. Now, look what we have here guys. Do you know what time it is? Yes, you've all been sending in the songs that you love to sing to God. And again, we've had two with the top votes. So we're going to pick out of the part and see which one we're going to sing today. 
Right, ready? What songs do we have? Ah, we've got You Know My Name and Our God Is Greater. Ooh, those are two good songs. Now let's see what we're going to be singing today. Ooh, I don't want to look. <laughs> Where is it? Our God Is Greater! Woo! I love that song. Everybody up on your feet. Water you turned into wine. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. None like you. Into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no and he is our healer we just thank you lord for being so good to us amen amen amen, amen. and you can always stand firm in god knowing that he's always in control no matter what situation you face he is always in control and we're going to stand up now and sing stand firm 
So up you get, you all know the actions, so let's worship. everyone to Cable Tie. Cable Tie is where we have scripture and we have to memorize it and remember it and this is your challenge today. On the screen before you you will see a scripture reference which is from Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. Now your challenge is to remember what that Cable Tie is. Speak it out now you've got 15 seconds to say it. Did you, remember, did you manage to do it? The scripture is Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 and it goes like this. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Well here's number 2. Philippians 4, 19. You've got 15 seconds to say what, it's, what the memory verse was. Okay, did you get it? The verse was Philippians 4.19 And my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Our third challenge is cable tie number three. Matthew 21.22 You've got 15 seconds to speak it out. Okay, how did you get on? Did you do it? It goes like this. And whatever things you ask in prayer, believing you will receive. And here's challenge number four. Oh, hold on a minute. That's a new one. I haven't seen that one before. Neither have you. Let's say it all together. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 13. Be alert, stand firm in the faith. Be brave, be strong. That's what we've been talking about this week, standing strong for God. Let's say it again. 
1 Corinthians 16 verse 13 Be alert, stand firm in the faith, be brave, be strong and one final time all together Be alert, stand firm in the faith, be brave, be strong Welcome to Plugged In. This is where the fun happens. And today we have so much fun with you guys. And uh, what happened last week, Tisha? I wasn't quite happy last week. Everybody voted for me. And were you happy with that? Yes. You know, I struggled last week because I, the people that I thought were on my team, I discovered that actually they are not on my team. You know, you get to know who your friends are and those that are not. And some of them are watching me right now, so let's go. Um, teach what do we have to well, do? Well, I would just like to thank everybody that voted Here for me. Here we go again. Here we go again. Here we go. Ava. Ah, yeah, yeah. Zaya. Right, right, right. Okay. Micah. I, I think it's time for us to go into the game. Teach, forget um, uh, the thank yous right now. Let's focus Auntie on. Auntie Margaret. Who voted for you? Auntie Pam. Thank you so much. Big up to you, Auntie Pam. Woo! Sister Pauline, wow! Didn't Sister Pauline go to town? Well, this time, vote for me again. Well, let's see. We're going to find out when we do this game who the true winner was last week. So check this out. We're going to see whether you voted the right person in or not. Last week, many of you said this lady here was the winner. But we're going to find out actually that the true winner is the man you are looking at right now. Let's the game begin, Tisha. What are the rules of the game? You tell me. That's right, the rules of the game. I know the rules, Tisha doesn't. We're gonna create a pyramid. So we're gonna have five cups going that way, and then we're gonna have four cups, and then we're gonna have three cups, and then two cups, and then one cup. We have already had one go, which Tish was cheating. So we're gonna try one more time. Please do check out that Tish is not cheating here. So the cup starts as a pile and we do the pyramid, we clap our hands and then we collect all the cups. We put them together there, that's the winner. If you just put them and you don't clap your hands and you don't put them back, you are not the winner. Get that Tish? Yes, it. Are you ready? One, two, did you see that? Tish is already holding the cups and she's saying, Why? <laughs> you can't do that. Put them down. Here. Now, let's touch your one again. One, two, three. Go. Go, 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 pasta, go, pasta, go, go, pasta, go, pasta, go, go, pasta, go, pasta, go. at home you tell us who do you think was the winner once again because I think I did a fantastic job do you think Tish did a fantastic job let me hear you and the audience say do you think Tish did a fantastic job Tish. if you do think Tish. that Tisha did a fantastic Tish. job Tish. write it right now get your parents to write down to see who was the winner I think I was the fastest on that one now Tish did you think you do well well, I think I've done very well, don't you? So, vote for me and stay connected for the next round. Get ready!
Wire, and my name is Faya. And I am back with another experiment. Now, I have got my carpet, my lovely carpet, and my broom. You know, it gets a bit dirty, got to brush it. I'm joking. I'm not here for the cleaning, I'm here for an experiment. Now, I want to see if this broom can stay on this carpet. Well, do you think it can stand up? Let's see if I can just put it here. Is it just gonna? Is it just gonna? No, it's still on the carpet! Guys, look at that! It stood strong, just like what we're focusing on today. And we are talking about how we can stand strong for God. Because some things may seem impossible in our lives, but if we have the right mindset and faith in God, we can always stand strong in Him and He will never fail us. He will never give us too much that we can't handle, guys. So remember, stand strong because nothing is impossible, guys. Now, if you think that is it, no, we've got another experiment to do that you guys can try. Just that you can try this broom one. And if you are able to do it, we would love to see some pictures from you because I don't think anybody is as cool as me. Now, right, so on to experiment two. So I've got two books here. Now, would you believe me if I can stick these two books together, just two ordinary books together, without any glue or sellotape, nothing? Well, let's see if you guys are right. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna open up the first page and I'm gonna put it into each book. But I'm not gonna put it all the way in, I'm gonna leave some space, so about three quarters in. What I'm gonna do is page by page and put it in. Now, sometimes I skip one or two pages because it could be long, but don't do a chunk. And you do this right until the end of the book. Now, I haven't got time for that. So, here are some I've done earlier. So these are two books I put together. So, <clears throat> look, they can't come apart. Oh, I wish you guys would believe me. I wish I had someone here to help me. Hi, fire, I can help. <gasps> that would be great. I'd love to help. <clears throat> oh, it's not coming. <laughs> oh, oh well, no. Are you sure you haven't glued these? No, I didn't. Oh. Now, let's try this one. Okay. It's not, <laughs> maybe. Oh, well, that's just the same. Yes, look guys, it's not even glued together. Now, thank you thank so you. much. <laughs> thank you so much. Now, if we stand strong in God, nothing will be able to tear us apart and bring us down. And as you've heard many times before, yes, we are focusing on standing strong. And when we stand strong in God, it doesn't mean we have to fight off other people who are doing bad or hurt them. No, it's all about being humble and calm and believing in God and also in yourself. Now, you guys might be thinking, how do I stand strong in God? Like people say it, but I don't know how. I have a few tips for you before I go on how to stand strong. The first one is praying. Praying every day and keeping a close relationship to God will enable him to speak to you and give you guidance so you have reassurance that you are able to stand strong. The second one is trusting in him and never giving up. Do not give up because God will never give you too much that you cannot handle and nothing will be able to tear you apart from that and another one is reading your words that is so important just like how you learn your abcs and your one two threes you should learn um scriptures in the bible because the bible is the way to go forward in life and your walk with god anything you have questions about 
Every time you're feeling low, the Bible will always help you. It has everything in there, everything. God has written it especially for you. If you keep on reading your Bible, you'll be able to face anything and stand strong. Now, lastly, have faith. Have so much faith in God. He is so big. And having faith in God and a strong relationship with him will help you with anything and you'll be able to do anything. Nothing is impossible. So make sure you guys stand strong and I hope you have learned from this experiment. And remember, if you do try this experiment, remember what I have told you. Nothing can break you down or tear you apart because God knows you. He may even know you more than you know yourself, so trust him. And thank you so much. This is the end of Wire, and my name is... Bye! <laughs> Bye! Welcome back to the second round. Now, who do you think is going to win? I reckon definitely it's going to be me uh, this me. time. So this round is the round that you need to actually vote for the pastor to win because this is where we are going to determine the actual winner for the day so it's not just based on one game but on all the games the performance and everything else to see who's the winner is and so what we're going to do is we're going to make the pyramid again pyramid again but this time we are going up people we are going up so the person will have to make a pyramid and then go up to the end they clap their hands and they put them back into a pile and then that will be the winner. Okay. So I was letting you read a little bit last time, but let's see what's gonna happen now. Okay? Wait, 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 wait. I'm just trying to set this to the giving problem. No, that's cheating, Pastor. Okay, we have a pile left. Are you ready? Ready! Let's see your dance if you're ready. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. One, two, three, go! Go faster, go faster, go, go faster, go faster, go, go faster, go faster. Tish, where are you? Three. Coming to four, get you. One, two, Tish, three. where are you? Coming to one, get you. Two. How many cups have you got, Tish? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Tish is supposed to have 15 cups, people. 15 cups. Tish. Pasta. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> place where we can get connected to God through the word. Last week our connection was through prayer. I trust that you are strengthening your relationship with God and that in your prayer life. This week our connection is standing oh. strong. Oh. Oh. What's happening here? I'm running, I'm running for my life. I've got to hide. What's, what's, I need somebody to hide. Happening? I'm running happening? for my life. What's happening? They're trying to kill me! They're trying okay. to kill me! Have a seat and go. I'll tell you, I'll see you about someone in the Bible who had the same situation. His name is Elijah. Elijah was a prophet who took God's message to the people. One day, God gave Elijah a message to take to King Ahab. When he took the message to King Ahab, Elijah also 
challenge King Ahab to demonstrate who the true God was. It came through that Elijah overcame the prophets of Baal and so ordered that they all should be killed. So this upset Jezebel very much and so she's decided that she was going to destroy Elijah. <clears throat> Elijah was so frightened that he ran away. As Elijah ran away, he went to Mount Sinai where he was hid in a cave. While in that cave, he heard voices. One of the voices that he heard was a still, small voice. And you know, sometimes when we are in difficulties, we try to run away and hide. But God says he is with us. We should stand strong. And so for you, what have you been running away from? What it is that would cause you to run away that you feel that you can't stand strong in God? Elijah wasn't doing anything wrong, but he was running away. You too might not be doing anything wrong, but you feel enough is enough, I can't take this. And you run away and you hide. God says, be strong, I am with you, stand strong. And so Elijah heard that still small voice, and that voice was encouraging Elijah to stand strong. And God encouraged Elijah by giving Elijah an assignment and Elijah, Elijah went and did what God asked him to do. God loves us and God encourage us in everything that we do but we need to listen and we need to hear what it is you think that you're not doing and you need encouragement. You might feel that you have a friend and that friend is going through some difficult times. You can be the one to encourage that person. You can be the one to stand by them and help them to stand strong. Help them, to encourage them to know that yes, you can do it. Keep encouraging them. God gives us that strength that we can stand strong. He said, I will be with you. I will not leave you. I am your God. I love you. You will never fail. So let us trust God to keep us. Trust God to guide us all the way because he said, stand strong. I am with you. Don't run away. I am with you. Stand strong. Be bold. I am the God who loves you so much and I am not going to forsake you in any situation, stand strong because I am with you. Wow! Oh, Your words today really encouraged me. They made me understand God wants me to stand strong. That is good. Stand strong, be brave, be bold, confidence. Oh, it's so great. Look, when he came, he was head down. Look at him now. I can God. trust God. I can hear God, I can pray to God, God wants me to stand strong for Him. Amen. I'm going to do that! Amen. Amen! Amen! Stand strong. So, you see um, how He looked when He came in, head down, like He was just, it's given up. But by hearing God's Word, trusting in God, doing what God says, He gains confidence. He's much brighter, he's happier, because he knows that trust in God, he can stand strong, and he's able to do anything because God is with him. He is 
obeying and he's trusting and he's walking head up, feeling strong. God is with you. He wants us to stand strong and he will help us to stand strong. Don't be discouraged. God is on your side. Stand strong. God is good. God is great. Amen. Isn't it great to know that we can stand strong with God? And we're going to pray right now, thanking God and asking him to help us stand strong. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you help us to stand strong when we are faced with things that cause us to fear. Help us to stand on your word. Help us to stand on your promises, God. Help us to grow in our faith with you. And through that, Lord, we are able to stand strong and do all that we are called to do. I pray, Heavenly Father, for everyone out there, dear Lord, listening to this service today, that you help them to stand strong. Help them to read your word. Help them to talk to you, God, and help them to hear your small, quiet voice. I thank you, Heavenly Father, that we can trust in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Welcome back to Plugged In. So now we have a competition for you guys. Competition, that's right. That's what I want to see here at Plugged In. We have a competition for you. What we want you to do is to draw yourself standing strong for God. As you can see, Tish here is standing strong for God. And we want to see your standing strong for God position, posture. And so we want you to draw yourself and send it in to Kingdom Kids at hgbchurch.org.uk. What's the address again, Tish? Kingdom Kids at hgbchurch.org.uk that's where you're going to send in your drawings do make sure you send them in by wednesday next week the 13th at 12 o'clock in the in the afternoon 12 o'clock lunchtime do send in your drawings and you will be able to win a five pound amazon voucher five pounds people five pounds amazon voucher for the picture that's going to be the best pay drawing of you standing strong for God. Let's see your pictures, everybody. And teach, I think it's time for us to vamos. So, get, get drawing. Hi again, everybody. Welcome back to Cable Tie. I'm going to remind you of this week's verse. You remember what it was? It goes like this. 1 Corinthians 16, verse 13. Be alert, stand firm in the faith, be brave and be strong. Now your challenge for this week is to send us a voice recording of that cable tie, okay? The first entry that we receive, correct entry mind you, we'll play it in next week's Get Connected. Have fun and we hope to hear from you soon. God, we thank you that in your word it says we have to be bold and courageous and strong. So we sing this song, Lord God, in honour of your name. Be bold! Be, be strong! strong. For oh, the Lord your God is with you. Be bold. Be bold. Be strong. Be strong. For oh, the Lord your God is with you. I am not afraid. No, no, no. I am not dismayed. Not me. Because I'm walking in faith and victory. Come on, I'm walking in faith and victory. For oh, the Lord your God. in faith and victory come on walk in faith and victory for the lord your god is with you thank you for joining us at get connected i had so much fun i hope you guys did too and i also hope you guys learned so much about standing strong for god make sure you do not forget the words because it will definitely help you 
and you can also help others by sharing this link and if you enjoyed our service make sure to like and also subscribe to us i hope to see you all here next week get connected One, two, three, go! Go past that! You can see that move now! Woo. I lost time then. I lost time then. Tish, where are you? Coming to get you! Tish, where are you? Coming to get you! the judge I think that's where we're gonna finish today teach we'll find out who the winner for this week is and I think you all know who the winner is so we'll check you out again next week well connected and plugged in we're gonna say goodbye Tish goodbye and vote for the pasta vote for me